In space, no one can hear you sigh audibly because a 77-minute movie seems to have taken five hours. Jamie? Yeah. Tops and bottoms off. Let's go watch Forbidden World. And welcome to another episode of Good Times, Great Movies. We come here together to join in um, chatter. <laughs> matrimony? <laughs> I was going to say holy chatter. <laughs> but oh, chatter about mm-hmm. a, a, a movie from the 1980s. Sometimes quality picks, sometimes otherwise. <laughs> um, it is myself, Jamie Lorello, on the other side of things is D.P. McCambridge. That's also right. here. All the time we come. I'm here wearing mm-hmm. my skimpy bathrobe. I am mm-hmm. ready. I just came out of the shower just to do this. I'm just naked in my steam room, so okay. it's all good. <laughs> I, I got my towel that has duct tape on it, just yeah. in case. Just the most important parts of any sort of space travel, or like, where are. Why is this a forbidden world? They go outside for a hot 10 minutes and nothing in that world seems terrible. It's the monster that they made. Well, did you tell them? Did you did you tell them? Did you did you tell them? Did you hear why the world is that you get very high when you're outside? They said you get euphorically oh. high if you breathe in the fumes so oh. much so that I think the professor was eating sand. They said at one point. What? I was I was paying careful attention to some of the dialogue because I needed to know what the fuck was going on. Thank you so, so much for doing this job because <laughs> most of this movie, I just sat there and went, "Why are they doing this? What are they doing now?" What's and How like the scientist is here? constantly just <laughs> why is this guy here? Like what happened to that robot? I had so many questions all the time, and I was also like. This movie is only 77 minutes. It's very quick. It felt like it took forever. I could not believe it. At one point, I had to pause the movie because I did not know what was going on. (laughs) And I looked and I was like, there's 40 minutes left. I've only watched a half hour of this. It felt like an hour. You're very first introduced to what feels like a really bad knockoff of 80s sci-fi. Like there's a stormtrooper sitting in (laughs) there. But it's not a stormtrooper. It's like a shitty looking stormtrooper. talks like a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, it's the shittiest looking stormtrooper ever. And it talks like a child, which is weird. And I was like, maybe they do that so you won't want to have sex with it. Like if you're alone with it. I that robot did nothing. I Well, he turns him off. He uh, he 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 powers him off. He's like, I'll see you later. I like how he turns the robot on to say, You all right? The robot says yes, turns it back off again. Yep. I just I don't So many times near the end of this movie, I was like, couldn't the robot do this? Yeah. Don't you think the robot... Couldn't you when... send the robot in to do the wires when the black guy goes underneath and like, let me just get this? I said the same <laughs> thing. And when that scientist or the guy's like, I don't know how to do surgery. I'm like, I said that robot in the cutting yeah. this guy up and yeah, removing he, his he liver. He seems pretty like, knowledgeable about all the things. No, no, the robot just stands there. Then. No. He just stands there off to the side and stares. But also we do find out he's totally useless. How does the robot get shot when they're outside? <laughs> they're the only ones that have guns, and somehow the robot gets shot. Ricochet. Later at the end, he's just chopped in half. We just get like a, oh. a split in half robot. Yeah. Yeah, the robot runs to protect his master and gets hit and instantly just breaks in yeah. half. <laughs> and there's no sad goodbye. And let's, no. let's talk about how much action you can get if you're a new visitor in this forbidden world. <laughs> wow. That instantly, I was like, okay, these ladies don't know how long all these people have been here, but I was like, they've made their way through all these other days. Yes. And this is a fresh piece of meat here. Mm-hmm. And I, I found it so funny how in, and you could see this a lot in these low budget movies, mm-hmm. how they can't get an actor with any sort of gravitas. Like, Mm. why were these women falling over right. themselves to get to this guy? Mm-mm. He's not even good looking. No. Like he's not no. charming. He's not good looking. Mm-mm. Looks way too old for them too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But compared uh, to every, although 
Yeah, there was the two guys with no sleeves, the security guy and Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Right. Well, poor, poor dumb Jimmy. <laughs> I was like, oh, who's this hot moron? Jimmy, why are you opening? Yeah, who's this hot moron? Oh, man. <laughs> and I like how Jimmy appears to just be the custodian of this place. Yeah, he just cleans up. But there's no, he's not given any kind of, it's it's clearly this devastating, like, like, like a lab where yeah. there's just blood and animals and cages everywhere. There's no gloves. Jimmy doesn't, Jimmy doesn't even have sleeves on his shirt. No. <laughs> Listen, Jimmy's got to show off those guns. <laughs> he doesn't have much upstairs. So he's got to, he's working with what he has. One of my favorite parts is when Jimmy calls up <laughs> to the doctor and he's like, hey, uh, your monster thing, it's totally waking up. And the doctor's like, this is his life. And he turns around to pink jumpsuit and he's like, go see what that idiot wants. <laughs> yeah, if it's yeah. worth my time, give me a call. Uh-huh. Uh, but I guess he was just put out. They, they just left that room, you know. <laughs> and this place seems very small except for when they're running. <laughs> I like it when Jimmy is being attacked. And it's on the security camera, and they're <laughs> eating dinner in the security room, <laughs> yeah. but nobody notices. Well, other than perving out, that security guy doesn't really do a good job. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Whoa, when he's playing with that, <laughs> that, playing with that yo-yo, <laughs> and I was like, is this supposed to be masturbation? Like, is this, are we supposed to feel like that's what's happening here? And then does he go through the ductwork to then peep through the wall of that room, too? Well, it seems like he used to have a thing with, I think her name is Barbara, that one. I think it's Barbara and Tracy. Ooh, thank you so much. Yeah. I got white jumpsuit, pink jumpsuit. Yeah. That's, <laughs> white that's jumpsuit that's... is Barbara. She's the one that has a weird accent. Like, I don't know if she's trying <laughs> to be British or just trying to sound smart. Um, <laughs> I feel like and she's... That... I feel like she probably is British or Australian trying to do an American accent. Oh, that could work. I didn't really work. look into her. No. She didn't make it out of the 80s movie wise. You don't wise. think? I mean, you don't think? Maybe she's fine, but. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Maybe she None of these people did much. I did write down Jimmy. Jimmy's been in a couple movies. Yeah. We've, uh, yeah. That we've done? We've seen that Jimmy? That we've done, yeah. Jimmy. I assume in the background. <laughs> I mean, we never really okay. pointed him out or talked about him. Uh uh-uh. uh. But he is credited uh, in a couple movies. Yeah. All right. He's the only other character. I don't even know the lead guy's name. No, is it Mike? Mike. It's not okay. A great I, name. I wondered yeah. if it was Mike. Okay. I had. No. There's something like this actor's horrible. Oh, yeah. And like I said, his presence is terrible. About halfway through this movie, I was like, wouldn't this be a better movie if the black guy was the guy who came here? Yeah. Like, he he has so much more presence, mm-hmm. is way more attractive than mm-hmm. this guy. Like, it's. Mm-hmm. It, oh, I. I hated this movie so oh, much. Oh, give it away, why don't you? Early I really on. did. I really did. In my notes, I wrote, I think this is the worst movie we've watched since Party Camp. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but Party Camp had some perks in there. Well, it had that one. With their, I don't know. Like, I remember. <clears throat> the camp counselor. I, I think it's probably going to be the same thing with this movie where I enjoyed talking about party mm-hmm. camp mm-hmm. and when that horse shit on that guy in the hole, that oh, was yeah. great. But <laughs> like when I was watching it, I was like, this is terribly painful. And this movie, I, okay. So it's forbidden world mm-hmm. 1982? from 1982, <clears throat> uh, directed by Alan Holtzman. He's mainly a documentary director now, mm. but he's still working and doing stuff. And this is sort of a movie that wants to be alien or saw alien. and was like, mm, we could do that, but super dumb. Like, yeah. it's a low-budget production. They make no bones about it. I don't think mm-hmm. anybody's pretending that this has a budget. Mm-mm. But sometimes in those movies, like, there's a scene or there's something happening where you're like, this is pretty good. Yeah. If I had to give this movie one bit of credit, oh, what would it it's be? that it was super gross and all the gross, gooey monster stuff was pretty good. Like, whoever was doing the effects, like all the dead bodies and stuff. Oh, yeah, like when I the faces were like half a yeah. face and eaten out. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Jimmy, when he has the hole like yeah. in his head. <laughs> but he's still, he's still going. He's, he's still, still alive. alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he's alive. And the guy wheels him down to the lab and pulls off the, the blanket. And it's just like in the process of the move. Yeah. All of his flesh has deteriorated. <clears throat> it's part of the um, the cocoon thing that it does when it's doing its metamorphosis. The whole genetic thing. What is Mike says at one point? They're like, 
do you know anything about genetics? And he goes, I wouldn't know a gene from a jelly bean. Yep. <laughs> and I thought, you probably would. Yeah. I mean, I get the joke, but you probably would yeah, know the difference. Yeah, the jeans are looking a little different. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> jeans. <laughs> I don't know. I bought a bag of jeans. They're all different colors right. and all different flavors. There's a popcorn flavored <laughs> one. It's kind of amazing. It's such it's... a small little thing. <laughs> it's... They made Harry Potter ones. They mm. taste like barf or whatever. <laughs> Disgusting. I feel bad walking through because, as I said, I was lost in this movie from 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 the moment he arrives. And I went, hmm, I wonder why he's here. And that's I don't think ever answered. No, we don't know. We know he's a he travels through space with this guy, the stormtrooper trooper guy. Like I said in the beginning, guy, it's he's a robot. just robot. In the beginning. He, first, he's asleep, right? He's in this, like, sleep chamber. And that's when we have these weird flashbacks you were talking about where you kind of get the whole movie in, and a lot of boobies in a flashback. It's and you're like, flashback. what's happening? It's or a flash forward. forward. Which yeah. is so crazy because it's almost as though he knows what's about to happen. Like, I yeah. don't – I feel like like the beginning of this was very slow – and mm -hmm. meditative in an interesting way. Like, I, I don't want to keep comparing this to Alien, but I will. Because the beginning of Alien is great. Because mm -hmm. the ship kind of wakes up mm -hmm. and turns on and boots itself up. And mm -hmm. all the crew members have been in, like, this hypersleep. Mm -hmm. And they wake up one by one. So at the beginning, I was like, oh, this terribly dumb-looking stormtrooper turns on the ship. And then he's going to wake up the crew. But it's just this one guy... But like you said, this guy has visions, I guess, of uh -huh. what's about to happen. Uh -huh. Or it's just in editing, they're like, this is so boring. When can we show the audience <laughs> boobs or at they least boobs to come? Room. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so wild. And I was very excited when I started this movie and I saw... It was 77 minutes. I was like, I cannot wait to breathe through this. It's going to be a this. cool breeze. Sure. <sighs> Not exactly. So <laughs> there's a uh, a spaceship fight for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's that's the <laughs> video game part that I wrote in my notes where it's literally like a like and he literally goes like fire, 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 pew, pew, pew. <laughs> yeah. And they just they're somewhere in space aiming lasers at other spaceships and pressing a lot of buttons on their little dock there that they're in their spaceship. And I was completely disoriented. Like yeah. you said, I didn't, you don't know where no. these ships are. You don't know who's in front, who's behind. Yeah. Are they flying towards each other? Is right. one chasing the Is other? Is it I bad no guy? Is there a good guy? Right. No. <laughs> it would just be cut to exterior ship. Pew, pew. Yeah. Cut to interior of him saying fire. Cut boom, to boom, another boom. ship. Pew, right. pew. Like, uh -huh. and, it, and it does this. Three cuts. Do, 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 do. In this order mm -hmm. for a good Three, five minutes? Mm -hmm. Too long. Too long. Because you're like, what's that? And then I guess he defeats the whatever he... Up. Yes. Then, we, then we're... Here we go. Here we are. And he defeats, I guess, whatever he's meant to, but he's told he has a new assignment. And... He oh, can't. I didn't even it's get this. time to go home. That's what the robot tells him. There's been a new assignment given. You're supposed to go home, but you have to prepare for hyperspace. And <laughs> oh, yeah, this is when the robot goes, prepare for hyperspace. <laughs> Immediately, like the guy doesn't even get a chance to put on a seat So buckle up. Or yeah. <laughs> That's what I kind of thought. All right, I guess this robot's the comic relief. But no, mm -mm. there is no comic relief. No, they relief literally in this movie. turn him off at a certain point, the robot. <laughs> yeah. They literally are like, no, Which, we don't. Yeah. It's like, we don't need this robot anymore for long stretches. Mm -mm. The story was written by uh, Mr. Jim Wynorski of Chopping Mall Direction Ooh, fame. So all right, all right. there's that. And mm -hmm. again, it is a low-budget production. Uh, no surprise, it's a Roger Corman movie. Mm -hmm. um, and this is when in my notes I wrote, after the credits, there's only an hour and seven minutes left. I was so <laughs> excited. Because I was like, all right, this is going to be a stupid spaceship shoot 'em up movie, and they're going to go to a planet and have to, like, fight aliens or something. I was not expecting what this movie ended up becoming. The genetic blob thing that's trying to eat people and live off of them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That takes place in about four different rooms, just mm -hmm. set dressed differently each mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
<laughs> Those were all the same room. It was all the same hallway each time. Mm-hmm. I loved it how they'd round a corner and then the shot would just restage. And mm-hmm. it was like, oh, they're just at the end of that same hallway telling them to walk <laughs> out around the corner again. <laughs> so our hero, Mike, and his mm-hmm. robot. Does his robot have a name? Probably. I don't know that it does. I don't, I don't know. I didn't write it down if mm-hmm. it does. Let's call the robot Pete. Pete. Fair enough. Petey. So Mike and Pete show up <laughs> at somewhere, just like a lab on a it's, planet? Yeah, it's a new planet that they're on. They get strobed in. Let me strobe you in, they say, yes. which I thought mm-hmm. was interesting. They're, it's a planet where they're working on, because as soon as he arrives, they're like, do you know anything about genetic engineering? Yeah. So there's there's the white-haired guy who I think is like the doctor. He's the guy in charge, I think. Yes. Yeah, the, then, the guy who's not really that old, but they put like flour in his hair to make him look yes, older. He's, yes. Just so we know he must be the one in charge here. Yes. There's a mad scientist who can't quit smoking. Um, and apparently he has cancer, which is, we didn't know that could have solved all their problems. <laughs> Can <laughs> it though? Like <laughs> the solution to this problem makes no sense either. I, I thought it was hilarious. This cancer that's been slowly killing me for who knows how long. Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure if this monster eats it, it dies immediately. Yeah, this how? is the end of the How monster. did you come up with that? I know, I know. <laughs> and what made them think it was okay? Because didn't they... Okay, okay, so they arrive here yeah. on the planet. <clears throat> right. And then he's greeted by... He immediately shuts off Petey. Okay, Petey, welcome. <laughs> and... It is wild. <laughs> it's again, I just don't understand. You've introduced a robot an honest to goodness robot in this movie, and you're like, no, we don't need it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> These characters are so exciting. We don't need a robot walking around. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Well, the robot doesn't have any female parts, I guess, to show off. No, so I keep no, it no. rolling, right? See, this is a confusing thing, too. I kept referring to these people as. The doctor does this, and then the scientist does this, yeah. and the doctor, and I was like, wait, are they? I think they're all doctors and all scientists, except for Jimmy. Except for Jimmy, yeah. And, and the weird security guy. Right, yes. But we yeah, can distinguish Jim... them because they don't wear lab coats. They wear shirts with no <laughs> sleeves. That's right. Good point. Yeah. Yes. And then there's also just the, the token black guy who I'm mm-hmm. not sure what he is. He's... Is he like, maybe he repairs stuff because he seems very concerned about yeah. whatever repair job he has to do. <laughs> Definitely. Like, let me just get on under this monster that's just taking over this room. I just really need to plug this back in. <laughs> when he wedges himself between a monstrous cocoon that has already murdered several people and the wall because the lights are out or something. Mm-hmm. I was like, why are you doing this? I think he's like the maintenance man, maybe. <laughs> okay, all right. And he, I love how he always, he uh, like simultaneously gets eaten and electrocuted yeah, at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah. It's a real rough way for that dude mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a small crew. And again, I don't understand why Mike is here. Because the doctor, the guy in charge, is to like, get hey. get laid, of course. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he heard there's some good poo-tang on this His robot planet. was like, I have a new mission for you. Yeah. <laughs> it is to get laid. <laughs> so... He's there, and the doctor's like, here, look, I found this organism, or I made it. Did they make this thing? I think that they created it, and then... Oh, all right. Now I'm not so sure about the two of us talking about this, because I would figure that would be the easiest question to answer. Well, it started... There's some kind of animal experiments going on, like we said, they're in their lab, and there's just mm-hmm. blood all over the lab, and just animals and dead animals in cages. Blood. The scientist the whole time has blood all over his lab coat, even while they're eating dinner. He's just got a bloody lab coat. Um, cause it's just, I did find that funny. Yeah. And and you're right in that they walk into this lab, and I'm like, is no one concerned about the amount of blood that's just on the wall? <laughs> well, that's what they said, room. Jimmy, to clean it up, right? Right. Jimmy said to clean it up. But also, I was like, did this just happen? Did this happen like a half hour ago? Because No, because they talk about, okay, so they when we first find out this, this they've contained. We think this thing is contained, right? Cause right. Because it's, it's, it's <laughs> kind of like this, it is like a creature, like a spidery, blobby kind of creature. Yeah, well, that's what the cocoon looks like. Because that's mm. what they say. They're like, all right, it made itself a cocoon. Mm-hmm. It went into this incubator. Because I like how Mike's like, who put it in there? And they're like, it put itself in there. 
<laughs> and it doesn't like it's it's an incubator, but it just appears to be like cheap plastic. Because <laughs> and there's no locks on like the no, little windows. No, because Mike or Jimmy totally picks up like the window of it, like checks on it, looks up at it, it like it blood clots on his head, and then he's or no, it blood clots down, and he's like, yeah. huh. But he leaves the thing wide open. It's like a, (laughs) right? Like I expected him to turn around and be like, oh no, it got out. Nope. It's open. The thing's just slowly climbing up. And I love how when he goes to close it, he puts his face like right up (laughs) against this monster so that it can make it through the two inch gap right onto his face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so great. But we're not even there yet. No. But, but my, like my question was, did this happen days ago? And they were like, Jimmy. You still haven't cleaned up the blood all over know. the world? I don't know how soon the blood came, but it's... Well, I think why he was called in was because there was that girl that they are, they try to keep hush from him. Amy or Ed. There was a girl that was killed that they tried to impregnate with oh, the blob. Yeah. She volunteered Got to it. be okay, impregnated yes, with it, and that. then it yeah. killed her and ate her or something like that. They look at her locker at one point, point. they're like, oh, Amy. And they try to keep <laughs> that a secret from Mike at first, and then finally right. they're like, we got to tell Mike about Amy. It's so dumb, because like you said, Mike says... I don't understand anything that's happening. Mm-hmm. But also, like you said, they're like, we can't tell this dummy what's going on here. <laughs> and when they tell him things, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Can we just like shoot this place or yeah. burn it down? Right. Mike has a good idea. Mike's like, let's just destroy this thing. Like from mm-hmm. the jump, he's like, let's just kill this. And of course, the doctor's like, no, no, no. We should keep it alive. We should study it. And we'll you know, let's see what comes out of this cocoon, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as you said, they leave. And they leave, uh, what's his name? Jimmy. They leave Jimmy, Jimmy in charge mm-hmm. of cleaning up. Mm-hmm. Jimmy comes in with his mop bucket and garbage can or whatever mm-hmm. he's doing. Jimmy, the most fun person in this Jimmy movie. is. Jimmy is so, the best. So, uh, Jimmy, again, not sure who he was in either of these movies. Mm-hmm. But he has Valley Girl and Less Than Zero on his resume. Oh, so he could have yeah, been like I think a, he's definitely like some a, kind of background friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He could have been like a coked up loser in the background of yeah. Less Than Zero, yeah. and just like a frat party guy or something in Valley mm-hmm. Girl. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this is his time to shine. Yeah, and boy, does he! Yeah, because like we said, he sees that this thing is dripping goo. He calls back upstairs. You have to assume they're right down the hall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not a big building. And this poor girl, I am. So glad, spoiler, that Pink Jumpsuit survives in this movie because they're constantly sending her around by herself. And she doesn't have any qualifications. She's like the other girl is we enter. She's one of the doctors or she's an expert on genetics of some kind because she introduces this one, I think, is just Jimmy's girlfriend. Right. As far as I I can tell. I think it's just like Jimmy (laughs) brought his girlfriend along. Jimmy was like, hey, babe, they want me to do a bunch of uh, like cleanup work on this forbidden planet. You want to come along? It's cool. I we'll get to share our own pod. We'll get our own pod. I'll put what? that sweet picture of you and me next to our bed. <laughs> right. Wait, what was that? You want me to ask them if they have a sauna? Okay, all right. Yeah. I'll see. I'll see about it. If they, listen, if you have a sauna, my girlfriend's in. If not, she's going to have to wait at home for me. But she came along, and they send her down. And she sees, oh, Jimmy also, <laughs> Jimmy has the best death in this movie, too, because when this thing oh, cleans yeah, it, his it face, attacks. he flails wildly around this, <laughs> just breaking everything he could come to. He swings his arms around and breaks every pile. I I guarantee you that was not in direction. I guarantee you it was no, just this Jimmy actor was taking going, advantage. She's like, I die early it. and I'm going to give it all I got. <laughs> yeah. He's like a stuntman. He's just throwing himself around <laughs> this room. With his blood clot on his face. <laughs> it is just kind of like a big pile of goo. Um, so then everybody comes running, yeah. which will be the theme of this movie. <laughs> Lots of running. Lots of running through this same Down hallway, that hallway. Over, <laughs> and over and over again. Sometimes it's steamy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you're in a bathrobe. Sometimes you're being chased by the monster. It just <laughs> depends. 
Or the creature, sorry. Yeah. And it's always pink jumpsuit. You're talking about sometimes you're being chased, sometimes you're in a bathroom. Oh, I do like, That's... too, how she's got pink jumpsuit has those high heels that she wears. <laughs> so you're right. She's not supposed to be here. She's like, I packed my clothes for, like, is there a club in the area or something? Jimmy had to break the news to her. He's like, but you could you could wear your shoes around if you need to. Yeah, just around no. The sh- there's the sh- no yeah. yeah, there's no there's no club, but they were trying to impregnate <laughs> some woman with like a monster baby. I don't know. Like, that's kind of cool. I think you could get really high if you go outside. So <laughs> maybe. Oh, you know, Jimmy and Pink jumpsuit are outside all the time, yeah, they taking are. their masks yeah, they on are. and off. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the security guard is covering for them the whole time. All right, guys, come on back in. Come on. While he's playing with his little yo-yo oh, thingy. Oh, yeah. No, they probably saw that security guard watching people have sex and they're like, hey, 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 if you don't say anything about us going outside, we yeah. won't, you know, yeah. give away your weird perversions. <laughs> so Jimmy is totes dead, but mm-hmm. not really because the, the smoking uh, doctor comes in and he's like oh my god he still has vital signs yeah. and this is when they even though like his face is half gone <laughs> his head's hollowed out <laughs> and uh and he's then wheeled away mm-hmm. to one of the other two or three rooms here mm-hmm. oh we also see this is when they're eating space strawberry shortcake <laughs> this is when the black guy gets upset for not having whipped cream for his strawberry yes. shortcake <laughs> Strange, like it's just strange that they're eating strawberry shortcake in the first place. I was and, like, that seems like a space delicacy, <laughs> and a little gross when you've got this blob thing that sort of resembles. A yes, nasty, especially because yeah. the guy next to you is covered in blood, blood. squeezing <laughs> pink stuff on sponge cake. Yep. Although um, pink or white jumpsuit Barbara, I think is her name. I don't know. She has a glass of wine that she's holding. I think it's yeah. wine, some kind of red. She looks like she's enjoying. And it's yeah. definitely getting her looser for what she's going to go ahead and. Oh, definitely. Get here's ready another. For. Here's another great part of this because this is when Mike's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on! What's going on here? What's happening?" And I like how the guy in charge, the gray-haired guy, mm-hmm. says to computer monitor man, he's like, "Show him the video that'll explain this." He puts on a video, but it's him talking. Yeah. I'm like, wait. <laughs> You put on a video of yourself explaining what you could have just been saying. (laughs) (laughs) It's so unnecessary, but also hilarious. (laughs) He explains something. I don't know. I had a real hard time paying attention. I don't know. Something about it being a, it's, it's a muta- a genetic mutation and it keeps growing and, and feeding kind of off of itself and changing and, and it has its own, uh, I don't know. He goes on to explain how it's it's got. I don't know. I, listen, I appreciate you trying hey, because thanks. I can't even try and make sense of any of this, Mm-mm. or I could not pay attention in a movie this dumb and this short. Yeah, I at many times just like zoned out. You had a limited I was like, attention. Oh, they're still just like it's like three characters sitting in this room talking. They're yeah. still talking. Yeah. Like so, pink jumpsuit. We didn't uh, before this. I know we gave all of our listeners the backstory of how she got here and her relationship with Jimmy, but we don't really know that they were in a relationship till she gets back to her room and mm-hmm. looks at the Sears portrait photograph mm-hmm. of the two of them. It's next to the bed. Well, we get it. We get our first. She gets a. Uh, she gets ready for bed. She puts on this tiniest little nighty because again, when you're going in outer space or when mm-hmm. you're going to Forbidden World, you want to wear limited clothing to bed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she does. I like, she looks at the picture. She's looking at her little Sears portrait photo. It's a great way to put it. Cause he's literally like behind her, like oh. prom photo, prom yep. photo, um, pose. prom photos of the future. Yes. But her, the whole time she's looking at the photo, her nipples just hanging out. Just, just her left nipple is just on screen yes. just for your viewing pleasure. Um, and yeah, yeah these we, these ladies are totally fine with taking their clothes off in yeah. this movie. Mm-hmm. And I, I was, I was surprised with the amount of full frontal nudity mm-hmm. that we are seeing. Mm-hmm. Like, toplessness, okay, you get used to it, and you expect it in a movie like this. Yeah. But all those lower shots, those wide shots of them standing in the shower, yeah. I was like, how When she lays down in the sauna, I was like, yes. really? 
she is flipping and flopping yeah. in all different positions. And I was like, this is wild for a movie like uh-huh. this. And all for this Mike guy. It doesn't yeah. make any sense doesn't to me. It doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And also, I thought she was going to die here because while she's looking at this photo, we see like goo dripping yeah. down the camera lens like it's on her wall. Mm-hmm. But nothing really comes of that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But we do see that the sexy hot lady doctor mm-hmm. hits on Mike on his way to bed. She comes out with her robe like totally open. Uh-huh. <laughs> and is like, hey, why don't you try some experiments? Some kind of line. He doesn't even hesitate. Try I like the security guard. <laughs> I would have liked for him to be like, well, you're the scientist. I don't know if I should be the one trying the experiments. <laughs> but all right. Did you catch how the, the security guy is watching through his monitors, which Ruby mm-hmm. goes in? He's like, I, I assigned you to room 2A. Where are you going? I, I assigned you to the other room. He Wait, he's to... talking like yeah. over an intercom? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? But, yeah, yeah, Mike goes in, and now we get this weird, listen, sex scenes in these cheesy 80 movies, great. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how people, like, their sex scene was so strange they just kind of were kissing on side parts of each other and yeah. right yeah, it was like like, <laughs> like crawling around yeah. each other like a couple of geckos would or something yes. yeah they're wrapping around each other in in a very bizarre way and like you said the one guy is watching the whole time with his toy that he's playing yes. with um and i think aren't you still getting shots of sad sad tracy yes sad mm-hmm. pink jumpsuit um yeah the way this is cut is crazy, too, because it's a long, long sex Yes, scene. yes. So I just assumed they were filming a lot, being like, yeah, yeah, try try this, try different things. And then they spliced it together to yeah. seem very bizarre. Yes. And the f- camera gets fuzzy because apparently the monster or the, the creature gooey, is oozing yeah. in there. Yeah, I don't understand. Which doesn't doesn't make sense either. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, oh, oh they what also, about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm wait. sure we're going to talk about the same thing. Do it now. Okay, I don't know. What about, so they, they're showing all these different things with the sex scene, and they show um, the black guy's playing some kind of <laughs> instrument in his room. Like a flute or something. <laughs> it is great. Because you hear, like, the sexiest songs, and then they show yeah. this kind of, like, is he playing this? But it's like this weird glass. It almost looks like a bong or something. It's like <laughs> it this totally weird... looks like he's playing a bong. <laughs> that they were like, well, we can kind of make this look like a futuristic <laughs> instrument, I guess. Here, let's dump out the water and, I don't know, put some buttons on it or something. I don't know. Yes. It's really, really funny. Yeah. yeah. When that happened, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was like, I'm more into this than this. Yeah. yeah. What, is, what is this, on this guy? guy? <laughs> is this like his nightly ritual? Like, is he... Playing this music for someone? Yeah. Well, that's the thing is that none of these characters are fleshed out. So anytime we got yeah. something like that, I was like, okay, so this guy's into music. I still, Mm-mm. as he lied dead on the floor, I still didn't know what his job was Mm-mm. here. But Mm-mm. at least we know he liked music. And that was really <laughs> hilarious. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> this guy also, this creepy computer perv, he hears something, I think. Mm-hmm. And so he gets up from his desk and he's kind of like crawling through the walls. Like I don't really know where he He's was. got a weird gun, like a weird like laser oh, yeah. gun thing. Yeah, they have terrible looking guns in this mm-hmm. movie too. They're, mm-hmm. they're super goofy. Uh, and then he, I, I felt like he had made it sort of outside of the sex room, let's say. Mm-hmm. And I thought he was like peeping in at them now. But maybe I was wrong, but he is murdered by this monster. Yes. Yes. And that's the important thing. Yes. At least two of our characters are gone, but Mm -hmm. they were like the working class part of the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're stuck with a bunch of doctors. Just no one to clean up or watch them. Right, right. So if you were watching this movie and you're like, whoa, that scene was pretty hot, and that must be the only sex scene of the movie. No, it's back to back. Like, insanity because oh, yeah. yeah. he appears to be leaving this woman's room mm-hmm. after they have had sex and he turns the corner and sees pink jumpsuit naked in the sauna mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah. invites himself in. I don't know how many times she tells him to leave. <laughs> she goes, not. first of all, it takes her, like you said, the place they're in doesn't seem very big, but it takes no. her forever to get to these saunas. You're like, where the hell is she going? Take a shower? Yes. And for a second, I was like, the showers are that far, but she's not showering. She's going to steam herself. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And like you said, he kind of comes in and she's like, you should go. You need to leave. But yeah. then she makes out with him. Yeah. <laughs> Does it, like She says, get out, get out. He's like, well, you know what? I don't really think you want me to get out. Yeah. She's like, all right. If you're not, take off your pants. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's uh-huh. Crazy. She's basically like, okay, well, then get naked. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And mm-hmm. she is totally naked. Like mm-hmm. we said, like totally naked. Mm-hmm. And they make her do so much stuff in this scene. Like roll around and get up and like help this dude take his shirt off and then Mm -hmm. lay back down and flip over and then a monster falls in her and she has to run around naked like it was crazy and this guy doesn't even like take his belt off no like he gets his shirt off but that's as far as he gets Uh Uh until yes this monster whatever this thing is now it like falls through the ductwork Mm -hmm. into the sauna Mm -hmm. And they trap it in there, but it just gets away again. <laughs> it's a sneaky little thing. It's a right. sneaky little thing. Um, I and do, also, yeah, go ahead. I do like that the lady, the first lady that he has sex with, does seem to be a little bit jealous. She's like, oh, I bet yeah. you were showing off your scars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so she acknowledges that he's being a little, you know. Well. Yeah, a little. Mm-hmm. But also what's really funny about this scene is uh, the black guy shows up. And the gray-haired doctor shows up. Everyone is in robes. Like oh, yeah. everyone just has robes. It was on. nighttime. They're, They're all going to bed. Open, yeah. and nobody has any clothes on no. underneath. <laughs> it's shower time, I guess. I don't know. For everyone, I don't know. No. yeah, I thought it was really funny. Oh, what about this? Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, the scientist is definitely. We find out that he is ill. He smokes. He chain smokes a lot. Very nervous. Blows. I like how he's blowing the smoke in like dead Jimmy. Like Jimmy's kind of <laughs> laying there, just turning into this monster. And he's yeah. just. And he has to give himself some sort of injections into his stomach, right? Isn't he giving himself? Do you remember that when he's like? Nope. Don't remember oh, that at all. Well, <laughs> it probably happened. I mean. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't imagining it. I'm sure I just wasn't paying any attention. When they gather here and they talk about uh, it, it, after it tries to attack them in the sauna, they call it a ding whopper. Did you? Yes. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. they don't really Very ever scientific call it anything. Name for it. Yeah. Ding whopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's this is such a dumb movie. But uh, so at this point, for some reason, and I don't know what the reasoning is. Three of them Mm -hmm. decide to go outside. Mm -hmm. Three of them decide to suit up. There's Mike and I guess it's the black guy and the the gray haired doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The three of them decide to go out. Oh, with the robot. He finally turns his robot. Yeah, he turns him on. Yeah. I guess we don't need to be reminded of robots during sex scenes. (laughs) I guess that's what was happening here. Yeah, they didn't need to be. Yeah. So they decide to go outside because I guess they realized the monster went outside. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So the other three stay inside, the, the two ladies and the, um, the sick doctor, or the mm-hmm. smoking doctor. Mm-hmm. They find the dead computer pervert. He's outside swinging around from rocks or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. It's, a, oh, it's yeah. a dumb jump scare. Yeah. They see another cocoon. So here's, here's my question. I thought there were multiple monsters, but there's just one? I don't know, because what they find outside, even after they kill it, they're like, I think it's basically like the exoskeleton of... Is that right? Like, it's not really the thing. They're like, oh, there the it thing is. That was, yeah. The thing that was hanging? It looks like a giant spider or something. And they right. go yeah, for I, it. But then I think they realize that, oh, no, that's it's just. It's nothing. Yeah. Like, it shed its skin, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. That's what I Well, thought. I guess I was confused because the monster, like, ate Jimmy but didn't. And Jimmy was still alive. And Jimmy was changing. Yeah. And then that goo, like, kept separating and dividing. Mm-hmm. So I thought that. It was sort of multiplying. No, because it... But then later at the end, the scientist runs in with a gun, like a frantic idiot shooting at the goo on the Mm -hmm. floor going, I'm going to kill its food Mm -hmm. source. So I guess I was wrong. Well, because I think he talks about how it's reproducing itself to live off of itself or to live off of them. They say something about um, the, the monster is growing a garden and they are the seeds. I want to say it's one monster, but he's using them to 
maybe grow himself. To feed. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That makes more sense then. Because even at the end when they killed, I was like, well, wait, aren't there more of them? But I guess it just keeps getting into cocoons and then emerging as a little bit different. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know right. when it okay. gets the teeth. Because when it's with Jimmy, it's <laughs> with, just a blob. With Jimmy, it's the tiniest little yeah. piece of goo. And then after these dudes, like we're saying, they're shooting at a cocoon or whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the robot somehow gets shot. Mm-hmm. I didn't. And then the, the scientist, like the guy in charge, starts to run away. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, he's gone crazy. He's running away. And then we finally see this monster. And it was kind of equal parts legitimately scary Mm -hmm. and also so silly. I could not believe it. It's a wide shot of this monster. Mm -hmm. And it's in broad daylight, which I think did not help. Mm -mm. It looks like a giant spider with like a bowling ball head with teeth. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is is a lot of teeth. Which is a lot of teeth. (laughs) Yeah. A lot of teeth. Uh Uh-huh. It eventually breaks back into the lab Mm -hmm. from outside. It, like, jumps into this hole. I don't know. Ductwork. Whatever. But it pops back out Mm -hmm. just to eat the gray-haired guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And, and dude, like, to his face, what he did to Jimmy's face. He, like... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because later they just find him. Yeah. They're like, oh, here he is, dead on the floor. Here we go. Yeah. But he, from what I understand, he's the real start of all of it, right? He's the one that wanted to impregnate the other one. Well, you didn't even know she was trying to get impregnated, but I think it was his idea to do that, I think. They really do blame him at one point. After he's dead, of course, they're like, it was all his idea. he had this whole plan with this blobby thing. They're all now hanging out. Like, a lot of this movie now and even before this feels just like the strawberry shortcake scene. But instead of arguing about strawberry shortcake, they're now arguing about the alien. Like, yeah, that's yeah. all it is. They all sit around a room and they yell at each other. The smoking doctor gives what I assume he thought was to be his Oscar monologue mm-hmm. at this moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's down on the floor about it changing. yelling. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's crazy. It's changing dumb. again. It just keeps changing. He's got this whole yeah. theory that he goes on about. Yeah. And they're they're trying to the men, of course, all the men mm. are trying to figure out how to kill this. Yeah. And they're like, I think we should shoot it. I think we should use acid. And then the doctor's like, You idiots, this is a smart monster. We have to be smarter than the monster. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And the two ladies are like, Hey. You want to have a sexy shower? Yeah, we got to talk <laughs> about do. this naked. And it's a weird shower. Like, they're they're just standing naked. Like you said, it's kind of in a room. It's not really a shower. Yeah. Every now and then some strobe light flashes. Like, a weird light flashes. Oh, it's like, and it's it looks terrible. Like, it's like a green screen because there's almost like a halo yes. around them of black. <laughs> yes. And they're standing there, and it's not like they're even, like, washing each other. They're brushing each other's hair, which they could have easily <laughs> done really fully does. clothed. For some reason, and, and I forget why this happens, pink jumpsuit, like, gets blood all over her or goo all over her. That's when why they, they take the shower. When they find that one guy, because the one guy went okay. with the, the white-haired guy falls onto her. Oh, all that's bloody. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so she's got, like, goo chunks in her hair. Yeah, that's right. Because you do see the blonde girl, like, pick one yeah. out while they're in the <laughs> shower. Right. So it really is. It's not like this. It's not like the blonde woman really needed a shower, but she had to get in there <laughs> to make sure that the that pink jumpsuit would be clean. <laughs> but you're right in that she's kind of standing behind her, almost like they're apes, like she's yeah. picking stuff out <laughs> yeah. of her hair. And they're just standing naked. Like you said, it's a long, <laughs> wide shot of just two women discussing how they're going to kill this monster. But And they yeah. their, their theory, because they are women, they decide they're going to communicate with it. What if we yeah. communicate with it? But there and you the go. guys, and they mention it to accent. the dudes. <laughs> yeah, that's how she... They mention it to like the dudes accent. and they're like, no way. And she's like, I really think that's what will work. Let's go now. And they put on their tiniest <laughs> little robes and they go... To communicate with the monster. <laughs> I I really enjoyed this scene uh, because it was it was kind of fun that these ladies like took agency and were like, these dumb guys, they're just going to run around with their guns and mm-hmm. they're going to end up getting us all killed. Mm-hmm. So what if we just talk to this monster? They go into a room. Again, none of these rooms really matter. Mm-hmm. This one seems to have a lot of computers around, mm-hmm. I guess. And 
the blonde woman goes in because we see this monster lounging. Like it really does look like mm-hmm. he's just mm-hmm. lounging around. Just hanging out at the top level yeah. of the room. <laughs> so she says, she goes in, she's like, hey, we're humans. Mm-hmm. Like we don't have any weapons. Like let's just hang out. Let's figure this out. Let's reason. Let's figure we'll it talk. out. Right. The monster starts communicating, I thought, through music, because I started to hear music. And I was like, is the monster making this music? I think I was really into the music in this movie. <laughs> but I guess it was just communicating through some beeps or bloops. No, then the she goes computer. to the computer and she right. types to it. Yeah. And she says, can we coexist? She says. I love it. And its response is, please stand by. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. And then it has this tentacle that comes out and then just goes right through her, like busts out of her back. There's blood spraying yeah, everywhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pink jumpsuit still standing in she the screams. background, just screaming mm-hmm. and losing her mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, <sighs> she's got the best scream. She just keeps screaming now. This oh, is God, I had to keep turning this movie down. I was trying to watch this while people were asleep. And I had to keep turning this thing down because every time she screamed, I was like... Tracy's a big screamer. She screams a lot. Yeah. So she runs away. And of course, she runs to who? This looks like a job for men at this Mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladies, you tried, but you just cut your numbers in half. That's it. Yeah. Now there's just the one of you. And that one of you is very, very scared. Um but very on top of things. Very much trying to get the help that she needs. So uh, this oh, is where... What about, oh, oh go ahead. I don't think this... Is, when she runs to go looking for them, I don't know if this is before or after, she tells the men. She goes mm-hmm. in and checks on Jimmy. And Jimmy's hand gets... Did you remember that part? She looks at the blob where Jimmy kind of is, but it's not yeah. really Jimmy anymore. But there's parts of him there, like his hand. And his hand goes, reaches on to her tiny little um, robe. Uh-huh. And she goes running down that hallway <laughs> with the hand still on her robe. Yes. That didn't happen quite yet. Oh, okay. But, okay. Oh, yeah. That, I didn't well, know if that was on her way to see those guys. No, because they these men constantly put pink jumpsuit in so much danger because that's after all right well let's get to it because so this cancer doctor well we don't know that he has cancer yet but he goes in to check on jimmy or whatever with the robot Mm. and this is when the robot's like how long have you had (laughs) cancer he's like and doesn't he just turn it off doesn't he turn off I didn't think so. I thought after the robot it's asked easy. him about cancer, the he's like, right just, on the front. I think that's what he does. I think he's just like, shut up. I don't want to hear from you. This robot is comprised of a single button on the front, and it's just mm-hmm. its shutdown button, mm-hmm. basically. <laughs> they go back um, to where Pink Jumpsuit says that the woman was killed, mm-hmm. and we kind of see her, like, hand, like a little piece of her, like, go up the into robe. the monster. Yeah. Like, he ate yeah. her? Mm-hmm. Whatever. So it has also made another cocoon Mm -hmm. for some reason. Again, the black guy crawls behind this thing. And I love how he's like, if it starts to come out, maybe like shoot it or something. I'm like, you know, this doesn't work. You've been trying to kill this all movie and you're sneaking behind it to fix an electrical problem. He's like, problem. but this faulty outlet has been getting me going this whole time we've been on this forbidden planet and I'm going to fix it, damn it. I have scheduled to fix this outlet yeah. at 3 p.m. on a Friday. That's what time it is. I don't care that there's a cocoon in my way. I don't like to backlog, all right? right. I got to keep smooth sailing here. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think is going to clean stuff up now that Jimmy's dead? It's me. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is going to have to pervertedly watch you guys have sex? Me. me? Those yep. guys are done. I'm next man up on right. the totem pole. Right. I've got a lot more responsibility now, so I've got to just do... Yeah, do my duties. He, he has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. And he dies like the idiot that he is mm-hmm. in that he gets electrocuted by the thing that he's trying to <laughs> fix. And he's also eaten at the same time. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening. Also, at this point, the cancer doctor runs in and for no reason, like, tries to <laughs> hug the cocoon. Just, like, <laughs> throws himself on it. And Mike has to pull him off. <laughs> but he gets hit and he's all bloodied. So that's when, so now it's just, it's Mike, 
It's the robot wherever that thing is at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the cancer doctor, but he's hurt and Mike's carrying him. Mm -hmm. And they're running to um they're running to the room. What's the the lab or something? The room that you have to go through the blue light to get into. Oh, it's you I know, think it's like the The blue lab. light that will yeah. kill your coronavirus. Yeah. I assume <laughs> that if you yeah. go I'm sure our president thinks that And all you have room, to do is close your eyes and you it, you'll close be your fine. eyes. Or you close your eyes and I'm sure our president thinks if you open your mouth the UV rays will get into your That's lungs right. in right. this room and it mm -hmm. will kill the coronavirus. And it's gonzies. Yep. I mm -hmm. couldn't think of anything but that when they first went in there and he's like, kills anything. Kills anything yeah. on you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, great. As he's running with this doctor, he tells Pink Jumpsuit, he's like, go get the doctor's morphine. Oh, it's right, in right, his right. Lab. That's why. That's right. So th again, they send her by herself with a monster mm -hmm. loose. This is when dead Jimmy She's still in a her. robe, mind you. She oh, never yes. got the opportunity to change. She has not been dressed. And I know <laughs> I keep calling her pink jumpsuit. She has not been dressed since Jimmy died. <laughs> like, she went back to her room and got naked. She has had nothing on but a robe <laughs> since that moment. So they get into this control room. She, oh my God, she runs around screaming forever. Like yeah. runs around screaming forever. Also yelling, where are you? Where are you guys? Where are you the whole time? And I'm like, you're the one that told them to go to the lab. It was your idea. I think you know where they are. Think about it, Tracy. Think yeah. about it. I love how she's in the blue room. She's still screaming. Both yeah. doors are sealed. She's still screaming. So all the while, the doctor has this great idea. He's mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm a goner. This cancer, not good. It's all over my liver. So if you, Mike, who doesn't know how to do anything, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> cut me open and remove the cancer that's on my liver and feed it to this monster. That's the cure. It's totally going to mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. I know because whatever. Yep. We do see him like experimenting and injecting stuff. So I assume mm -hmm. at some point in this movie it was explained. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, maybe alluded to. I right. don't know that it was explained. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alluded to. <laughs> well, the idea, the solution is so yeah, dumb was... anyway. It doesn't matter. Mm -mm. So finally, at the end of all of this, I think he's already like removed this guy's liver. <laughs> She yeah, she comes with back the with the morphine. Yeah, it's after he's cut it open and literally yep. dug his hands inside. Yep. And you're like you said, the robot who you think maybe the robot could be programmed to perform surgery just stands there the whole it time. Just stands <laughs> there like it's a lamp. The uh -huh. robot doesn't move, doesn't say anything, mm -mm. doesn't try and comfort. I think the it's doctor. still turned off from when <laughs> the doctor turned it, it off earlier. It, off. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you think the monster showed up and? Hit the robot, turning him on just in time for the robot just to, to kill see it. its own body separate. <laughs> One could only hope. I, don't I know. hope so, that useless robot. There's some sad music because the doctor's dead. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This movie is so dumb. Like, I love how the doctor is totally like, listen, you're going to remove my liver or whatever. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. are totally going to kill me. But it will save all of us. Mm -hmm. And it's like Mike heard half of that. Because Mike like <laughs> holds up his liver and he's like, we did it. And look at <laughs> this dead guy. <laughs> so there's sad music because he died. And suddenly the it's the big final monster attack. A bunch of dumb shit happens. <laughs> like it's just, it's really tough to tell what's happening. Yeah. Because yeah. the monster looks so stupid. They don't want to show it the whole time. Yeah. So it's all these tight shots of the monster. It does, Tracy it, screaming. Go ahead. She, I was going to say, it does make Tracy very screamy because she mm -hmm. screams a lot. Yeah. Mike mm -hmm. somehow at some point after the robot dies, like the robot does die. And Mike looks over and like yells out the robot's name like Pete. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't care about uh -oh. Pete at this no, point. No, no. Mm -mm. He finally manages to, I guess, feed this thing the tumor and it like mm -hmm. chokes and foams at the mouth. And, and it dies. did it. That's what did it. Just a little bit of cancer liver. <laughs> right. Somehow. For some reason. Uh -huh. And then the last shot is just an embrace. An embrace between screaming, tra sobbing Tracy now. She's mm -hmm. just sad. She stopped screening. Yeah. And Mike. Uh, that's not the last shot because we get 4,000 very quick shots. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because they have to remind us. They're like, remember when those ladies were in the shower? Yeah. yeah. That's the same movie. <laughs> 
when they when they show these quick cuts, I thought it was hilarious because they will show like crazy action, crazy action. Oh man, this guy got his head chewed off, blood mm-hmm. splattering on the walls, sexy ladies in the shower. Yeah. They show that about twenty five times in a row. <laughs> and you're flashing your hand because it's true. They show the flashbacks are like strobe light flashes. Yes. Like, like here and there and this and that. And then, yeah, lots of lots of boobs. Boobs. And again, I didn't understand any of these flash forward and flash back Mm-mm. things. It's like, I don't know. What do they have to do to make something an actual motion picture? Like to release it in the theaters. I think it has to be a certain amount of time. Like it has to be a... a you know, so oh, many so you minutes think they long. they added those I, I, to stretch their the minutes? the only thing that makes any sense, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But it couldn't have added more than a minute, minute? to a minute yeah. and a half. It's not long. It feels painful when you watch it, but it's really... This movie, like I said, it was terrible. I did yeah. not mind talking about it again. It was, it was, it was a terrible 80s movie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And it's... <laughs> It barely felt like a movie, too. Mm. That's the thing. It it barely felt like it could pass for a movie. It was like a dumb episode of a TV show. With a little more nudity. Like you said, maybe a CNN. Or not CNN. CNN. <laughs> maybe a CNN. <laughs> Breaking news. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> this monster killed these guys. <laughs> a bunch of them. Yeah. We're not sure where Jimmy is. <laughs> Have you seen Jimmy? We found a lot of bodies with no Jimmy. No found a Jimmy. picture of him, so we know he's in here somewhere. <laughs> no, more like more like a more like a after Cinemax after dark or whatever it's called or HBO after dark kind of. Show yeah, of, I guess yeah. it's not, it's dumb, terrible. Yeah, awful. Movie. It was dumb. It was yeah. It was eighties. Eighties uh, at its worst. Do you have a recommendation? Did this movie make you want to watch anything else? This was hard to come up with a recommendation. It really was. Um, so the best I could do is um, maybe if you wanted to um, do a little WebMD research naked or do a little 23andMe, some genetic testing in the in the buff, that's my recommendation. Wait, your, wait. <laughs> <laughs> your recommendation is to get naked yeah. and go to WebMD? <laughs> yeah, and just start looking shit up. Just be like, this mole, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Not sure what's going on here. Can you yeah. can you just zoom with your doctor? Maybe maybe you could do that now. Yeah, you can actually. I think people can do that, yeah, right? You can. Mm-hmm. Which seems great. Like I do not like to go to the doctor. It makes Nobody me does. Very nervous. Mm-hmm. But being at home and being at the doctor is a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're probably not going to find anything wrong with me if I'm not mm-hmm. there. <laughs> They'll be like, everything seems fine. I'll be like, oh, whew, good. <laughs> All right, I can wait another year. Can I put my clothes back on now, doctor? <laughs> like, I never told you to remove your clothes. <laughs> you did that on your own. But that's, yeah, that's what I would do. Just some naked web searches, medical web searches. I love it. No, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's great. And for you. Uh, my recommendation <laughs> is uh, moving from a forbidden world to a forbidden planet. I'm going to recommend the 1956 sci-fi movie, Forbidden Planet. Better than Um, this? It's much better than this. Yes, it's fun. Uh, It's where a spaceship uh, crew discovers, like, a a colony after 20 years. Mm. And they find out that everyone had died except for this guy and his daughter. Mm. And the the doctor, the scientist, is like, oh, yeah, everybody was killed by some planetary force. Eh, We're immune to it. It's probably not safe here for you guys. But the, you know, spaceship crew are like, no, 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 we have to stay and we have to, like, hear further orders from Earth and everything. And uh, it's not good. Bad things start happening to the crew. And it's mm. super fun. You've probably seen the um, poster. It's mm-hmm. got this thing called Robbie the Robot, which is this, just this gigantic robot with, like, a, a big bubble, like, glass head with yeah. wires and lights and stuff. Yeah. It's a great sci-fi movie. And there is a very young and... Very hunky Leslie Nielsen. Ooh, <laughs> yes. a hunky one. Yeah, yeah, if you just know of Leslie Nielsen from Airplane and Naked Gun and Having Gray Hair, check him out in this movie. It's like, All right. oh, that guy, super hunk. So Excellent. Check him out. Yeah. All right. All right. So, folks, uh, thanks for listening. Of course, um, yeah. if you are a patron, 
You have probably already heard our 1990s Handshake 5. Shaking your hand with the 90s. On Patreon right now. Uh, Jamie and I each go through five uh, movies from the 90s that were important to us. And then Jamie adds 45 more (laughs) movies on at the end. And then has a great category of movies that are probably good, but I haven't seen them. (laughs) That might have been my favorite thing that you got to. So we did that. So check that out on Patreon. But with our next episode, you have all voted. You have all decided that for our fifth year anniversary of the show, we will be watching Back to the Future. Dun, dun, dun. So get Marty, ready for get that. ready. I assume it's probably going to be a pretty long episode. It's going to be a, a fun one. It's a yeah. long movie, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just remember it as being long. I don't know. It doesn't matter. This movie was short and it took us forever to talk about it. I know. I know. We can find a way. We'll find a way to chat it up about it. No, I'm, it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be different than this. Uh, <laughs> it would be strange <laughs> if it was the same. <laughs> Um, no, I, I'm excited to talk about it. I'm excited to talk about a movie that I'm assuming everyone listening to the episode will have seen Back to the Future. Yes. Uh, oh, but if you didn't get a chance to watch this terrible, terrible movie, it is on Amazon Prime for free. Yeah. And it is an hour and 17 minutes. So if you it wanted felt to, so long. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But join us again. Join us in two weeks. It'll be our final episode. I mean, wait, wait. No, sorry. <laughs> take it easy. Five year, not It'll final. Be fifth uh, yeah. year yeah. episode. Let's get final that straight. <laughs> if you don't oh. hear from us, this was our final episode. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't hear from us, this then the blob movie broke got us. us. The blob yeah. got us. Jamie's screaming <laughs> through hallways with her bathrobe on, and Doug's face is his skull's just been eaten away just... by a blob. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I thought a burp was going to come up, so I was waiting for it, and then mm-hmm. it didn't come at all, so well, I guess I'll just It just left. Start. It'll come out later. <laughs>